hello there you two and welcome to friday the 24th of november man has it turned out to be stunning out here problem is it's only <laughs> it's only 46 degrees it's got quite a bite to it <laughs> that old barn out there it just never gets old looking at that thing sitting out there planes flying over they're all taking advantage that beautiful sunny I don't even see that guy sounds like he's right over top of me but I don't see him but what a beautiful day I think Kelly wants to go into Chehalis to the Dollar Tree Dollar Tree's got some specific craft items that she's found online that that they have and uh close to Harbor Freight Tools. I always go check out Harbor Freight Tools when I'm there. Look at the leaves in here now. It's all but gone now. Yeah, it's getting sparse out here. Look at all that. Aspens and all those things. There's nothing left in them. This will look like that here really quick. But that's the season that it is. There's still some frozen... I was seeing some frozen leaves out there a while ago. Stuff that's still in the fray. And the shade. That's what I tell you guys, too. You know, like riding your motorcycle. You, uh, you need to be careful. Because, you know, 37 degrees, you can for sure have black eyes. But those little corners. Remember that one day on my slim, it was 62 degrees out. And that one turn still had frost and I had to do an evasive. It's a good thing there's a dirt road right there because... I'd have went through a barbed wire fence or something because uh, either crash or stand it up and try to scrub off as much speed as you could I didn't have much room I seen a hole went in this dirt road and it immediately takes a left and somehow or another I got her scrubbed up enough that when I hit that dirt road there was enough gravel in there I got traction and got her woed up good lord that's almost a couple years ago now isn't it crazy how the time goes by wow yeah, this will be the fourth anniversary of the Slim coming up this year, or next year, sorry. Jeez, I'll be the fifth, is that right? Yeah, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Wow. Yeah, time really flies by. The Road King will turn four years, ago, four years old this coming summer. Five years on the Slim. Wow, man, I joke about the time flying by, but sometimes things just kind of catch you off guard, doesn't it? You're like, wait, no, wait, what? <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Can't bring it back. Just try to use every minute you can for the best. It is awfully beautiful out here, and it feels a whole lot colder than what it is out there. It feels like it's in the 30s for some reason. It's just humidity or lack thereof or one way or the other. Just feels cool. Even the girls <laughs> don't want any part of being outside. You know, they they want to come out long enough to do their business and uh and Sasha goes into her carrying on, she wants back in. Well, I'm glad we didn't decide to uh take a motorcycle ride today. Because we just passed the whole section of frozen road. It was absolutely black ice. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah, that would have been bad. That would have been real sketchy. I tried recording out here a couple of times. There's so many people out here. Every time I pulled the camera out, they're all staring at me. You know, all right. That usually doesn't bother me. But that was getting a little weird. But we did the Dollar Tree over there and Harbor Freight. We're almost the end caps of the building. Mama, a serious collection of craft and Christmas stuff. And I just got a little tiny sack of things. <laughs> Sir, can I see your license, please? Kelly, come here. Look who's, dri look who's driving that truck. Oh. Go up there and ask him. Tell him you need to see his license. I don't, I don't think he's safe to drive. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> that was fun. We're here for a long time. We almost closed the, the what well, we have. We're past sunset. Yeah. Mama. 
It's getting dark fast out there. I know. Of course, the whatever tent these windows have, they they add some to the misery, don't they? Yeah. O'Reilly's been in there a couple of times. Okay. What was that? What it used to be? Uh, it used to be. I forget what it was. It was something, but it wasn't. Yeah, we always. Thing. No, it was a car, and then they changed it to O'Reilly. Oh, was it that CarQuest? CarQuest, that's what it was. Okay, I'm thinking red and blue I don't blue think they even the exist sign. anymore. All right, let's roll with it. All right. Our old tractor supply right over there. They used to be the big Kmart's. I miss Kmart. Now it's, I don't know what it is. It's a U-Haul storage and rental place. Oh, even the inside is too? Mm -hmm. There's Washington State Patrol office. Man, look at this light out here. Wow. That is some kind of amazing moment. See an old silo in that barn right there. Wait till we go past it here and get a good look at her. Absolutely coal black out here. You're not even gonna see her. But Sasha and I are walking down to the mailbox. We seen the mail lady coming up the road, but I never got a, a text or an email saying she dropped off the package. So I'm just gonna walk down there, I guess. Danny, you're not supposed to be down here. <sighs> well, the mail got dropped off today, but there's no package. Look at that. That's some beautiful skies there, isn't it? So yeah, I just walked all the way down here for some kind of magazine. Let me get my uh, flashlight out here if I can. See if I can hold both things at once here without letting her go. Come oh, on, There's a neat head. And there's Danny. Kelly goes, don't worry, he won't follow you. He won't follow you down there. Yeah, he does. Meat mongrel. And Sasha's got to literally smell everything that's out here. All right, let me head on back to the house. That was an absolute bust, walking all the way down here. Sasha about wore me out, smelling everything, everything everywhere, every animal that crosses the road out there. Deer and coyotes, everything else that runs out there. But wore me out. She wants to stop at every little place. Danny coming out there to me. Yeah, it's you I'm talking about over there, you meat mongrel. Look at you. You never stop sniffing. You should have been born a hound dog. 
But yeah, that was a bust. They delivered mail, but not my package. The same truck delivers both, and the status still shows out for delivery. <laughs> Alrighty. So shortly after I got back, guess what showed up at the house? The Soliware electric screwdriver. It's like a pencil screwdriver. Let's get this thing. I like it on a box. It's sealed. Very, very nice. That's that Kershaw I bought in California. I think on the first or second trip to the BMW school. I just can't deal with a knife, but you can throw a knife on your luggage and check it in. So it took me forever to find a sporting goods store because they are like anti everything down there. Oh lord. Like, there's no freedom there at all. And I think it's coming out of the box backwards or something. A little charge cord, USB C. Oh, I see what's going on. Yep, it's kind of upside down. Must be my manual instructions. Believe it or not, I actually do read through those things. This thing is cool as heck. I watched the Amazon reviews and stuff. Oh, it's, it's already released. But you click, release, lock. It's just a little. Good Lord, I don't know which way does it come out. Oh, there it goes. Was oh, it got magnets in there? Or maybe it's just plastic stuff that's holding it. I know all the bits are held by magnets. You got one if it's got any power. Oh, almost fully powered. Watch when you put the screw in. Take the screw out. See the little arrow? It's got little lights. How cool is that? And when it's in the package, and then it's... This is all aluminum, by the way. That thing sticks out, and you can charge it while it's in the package. But I forget how many bits, it's like 48 bits, yeah. And the cool thing, the bits are magnetically held in. How many of those little tools you had, you can't get the things to go back in, drive you absolutely, completely crazy. But the nice thing is, it has the hex bits that will work with RC cars. <laughs> Funny, the things you take priority. Although I don't see, I see lots of Torx bits. Oh, yeah, a whole row. Of, it's a 1.5. And I think I've seen a deal where it's even got that goofy 1.3 that's like unobtainable. Yeah, look at that. 1.3 millimeters. That's what I needed for those wagon wheel things for the, the minis. What's something we can mess around with here? Oh yeah, it's Columbia River, Columbia River Knife and Tool. It's called something, pocket something. Getaway Driver is what it's called. And you can, it's got, it's just all Torx bits. It has a selection of them in there. Let's find a Torx that'll fit. Fit that thing. Where's my Torx? I think it's bigger than this. Do something big. That, yeah, so what was that? A T... T8? Oh, I think that's a T8H. That means it's a... Um, safety Torx. Well, these are safety Torx, too. See how they have the hole in them? I don't know if I can... The way you focus on that, I have to find the smaller bit. So this must be a regular T6. I'm guessing that's about a T6. Alright, you fit in there? Yeah, it definitely fits. 
tight. Well, that's nice. It's nice quality screws. Columbia River Knife Tool, which is here in the Northwest, by the way. So this thing's. Oh, does it have it? I think it's spinning in there. Let's go to a T7. I'm not going to drive you too nuts about this thing. Let's find something that fits here. This is going to be a 7. This thing about Torx, you, there we are. You just keep going up until one doesn't fit and go the next one down. Yeah, that's a dead ringer. But you can take it out. I wonder what kind of torque it has. Yeah, I don't trust. You just use it to get it where you need it. I've never checked these things. They might even be loose. That's pretty cool though, huh? Break it by hand. Start it. That's cool. I like the little light when you're working with it. If you're in the dark, the little light to, to see what you're doing. How cool is that thing? Well, that's what I was waiting on. <laughs> Hope you think that's cool. Well, hello there, you do. Got Christmas lights on out here. Just a little strip that's on the porch up here. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a chill day today. Went and did some crafts and went roaming around Harbor Freight Tools. It was one thing specific I was looking for. Couldn't find it. Aww. But I found some other little trinky things. Actually, I got a couple of things that are for her craft stuff. Yes. She can use that on. And then that little electric screwdriver showed up. That was nice. That's very cool. They're roaming around with Sasha in 30 degree weather. Mm -hmm. Literally, it was 30. <laughs> yes. But, it's um, very cold. Yeah. I think some of these people, and that's what we've been told, some people will purposely drive in the dark with a lot of trees around, will drive and hit them rumble strips to scare the deer off. Thought, God, that's why sometimes you hear them. Sometimes you can... They maybe shouldn't be driving because they're in them a little bit, then they're not, then they're in them a little bit, then they're not. I think it sounds like somebody waving down the road to me. Mm -hmm. But you'll hear other ones just go, ba, 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 ba. How loud those are. Yeah. It's usually, yeah, where the trees or where the deer usually cross. Yeah. That's crazy loud. Imagine what it's like if you're out there by the highway, that it sounds that loud over here. Mm hmm. It's nuts. There, that should wake you up if you're veering off your lane anyway. Yes, it would. Anyway, after a nice chill in both ways, physically and relaxation-wise, a chill, chill Friday. Yes, it was. We're going to call it a night at that. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. All right. We we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. And it'll be frozen. It will be very frozen. Mm -hmm. If it's this cold now. Yep. Wow. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bye bye now.